All right. All right, guys. We're uh, back with Vanessa. How you Welcome doing? Welcome back. I'm how was, good. How was your week? It was lovely. Yeah? I had a nice week. Mm-hmm. Very good. Cool. We went to the library. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Got you got books? books. Nice. Yeah. And I've been reading about kombucha. Oh, have you? Yeah. Awesome. Library is definitely um, one of the most underrated, I think, things in the, it's in the world. It's a great resource. All right, kids, so um, we are in day nine now, so I checked back with everyone a few days ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just going to do it again just to see. We're going to be testing um, the tea. Yep. We're going to be testing pH levels, and the third thing we wanted to do was to so look into our brewer to see the development of stuff that culture. Stuff has been happening. Yeah, stuff has been growing, and um, that little itty-bitty culture, and I still hurt my thumb in dodgeball. The little itty bitty culture, it's not actually itty bitty, it was actually a pretty big sized culture. It was a booger, a little like a booger island, now it's a whole booger land mass. Yes, so let's take, actually why don't we do that first, so we'll get in there and um, again, now that we're about to uh, work with our kombucha, we're just going to sterilize our hands first. Ready? Oh, <laughs> I have to so V, you just want to give, uh, give a quick wash with your hands, water, and we got a smaller bottle of vinegar this time. So we're just going to douse you and just give it a quick rub. Okay. I know it gets a little vinegary. You could also use, um, you have like a, a natural disinfectant, but then if you use a disinfectant, we're going to wash that again. Um, when we use it, those natural disinfectants, we want to do a rinse, um, and we do a rinse again with vinegar, but especially those natural disinfectants, like those, uh, you know, those things that you just squirt and you yeah. don't need to... Um, you don't need to wash. Back stuff. Yes, but that you actually do want to wash if you're using it because not only will it kill the good bacteria, the bad bacteria, it's going to kill your good bacteria. Um, so I always just recommend white distilled vinegar. All because right. Plus, it is the best. Come. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Whoosh. Whoa, mama. Cool. So let's Does see what's going on. Does this mean it broke? Did what? What break? Is this bad mold? No, no, no. This is perfect. This is actually what I, uh, what a culture should be looking like. Um, now, if we look though, we could still see. I'm gonna get my, my finger in there just to point around. You can still see that original culture that came with the kit, right? Um, but obviously, the, it grew and it grew until the size of your brewer. Now, I would say that it's almost mature, meaning like it's still in a development stage. So what we're going to do today, um, if the pH levels are right and the taste testing is, is right, we are going to go ahead and bottle, Whee! but we're not going to bottle everything. And we're not going to um, re-brew tea today and pour it back on. We're going to wait a few extra days for that culture, that's newly developed culture, to get a little thicker, a little okay. stronger. Because what happens, and that, that does look pretty good, actually. Now, Thank you. Um, when we, <laughs> you did a great job. That's all you. I'm going to have you put, uh, put, put the uh, faster back on. Okay. Um, what a lot of people see is when we, when, when we checked in a few days ago, if you, you saw it was even more translucent than, than what we're looking at now, which is a good sign. So it's, it's continuing to grow. But um, we found that a lot of people get confused that that thin... Um, newly developed culture, they're not sure, one, if it's a culture or not, and two, they don't know what it, what they should do with it. So when they pour the fresh tea on, it just sinks to the bottom and it kind of is just like a, a film. So what we want to do is we want to make sure it's a little Strong. stronger, thicker, more mature, and then we'll brew the, the tea again. Now, from a time savings point of view, after this batch, usually the cultures that then grow uh, for the next time or the culture will just get thicker. So either a new culture will grow on top, or that culture, now that it's the size of our brewer, will get um, will just continue to get thicker. Either or is okay. We did a whole nother video series called the Longevity Brewing Series, which answers questions like what's gonna happen two, three months from now, like cleaning out your brewer, um, what to do with too many cultures, uh, what happens if you have too much yeast strand buildup. So if you're interested in that video, let us know, or you might have already uh, purchased that separately. All right, so that, that video series addresses those later on questions, more like maintenance and things like that. 